anyway, today in the shop, the age old question of which diff is better? Fully built XPT bid diff or just plain old stock RS1? Hill killer, obviously. RS1 with welded hubs. What do you guys think? Let us know down below. So, <laughs> we got our buddy Jason's Razor 16 Razor Turbo. I'm not sure if they recognize it, but Here. It, did, it didn't make a video. But just picture it upside down on top of I'm hoping, Samurai. I'm hoping that the camera didn't do a switcheroo, but maybe, yes, upside down on a Samurai at Black Mountain. I think that was the last time we saw this Razor. And I think it's almost the last time it got driven. So three years ago, but updating it, rebuilding it, reviving it, um, all you know, of it. <laughs> all uh, of it. doesn't want to go spend a ton of money on a new unit. So he's got a perfectly capable unit. We're just going to make it better. So today is RS1 swap day. Nothing new. Everybody's done it. We have, well, we kind of did in sprinkles. A swap ish but not on a full body so it's same thing cut what is in the way out and install new stuff in so yeah back to the if anybody who doesn't know I mean, there's the difference between the diffs it's uh more beef beef cake so my opinion is you could take a, a billet case fully built turbo to equal the strength of one stock RS1. So that's my opinion. And obviously you can upgrade from there. Yeah, Sandcraft bomb kit in that would be good. Not the bulletproof, the bomb proof. And uh, of course you can get those through us, but yeah, so we're swapping these units. I got my plasma cutter there. It's a 90s model. I'm just kidding. It's an 80s model. <laughs> <laughs> so we went ahead and just, you know, ripped everything apart there. Because uh, we got to get in there. We got to we got to cut that out. We got to get a grinder in there and grind down that edge. We've got to do a little notch in there. We gotta cut this piece out and completely remove the front bracket mount tab frame mount for the old diff. So she's gonna be the plasma cutter. Cause I got new goggles today from my dad. And so we're gonna fumble around and see what we can do see what we can cut into kibbles and bits yeah, see if we can junk a perfectly good frame luckily i know some fabricators in case it goes wrong <laughs> yeah so. <laughs> steven's like oh give me the plasma cutter amber go away <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my god never mind we're not doing this <laughs> so yeah we're just we started in the back with this project we did put a little bit more reduction in it it's going to get 35s bearings bushings himes i mean the sucker is wore out so we got the rear kind of done and it jumped up here to the front it's going to need new bushings and everything up here and then what's after that um we're going to come to the middle and yeah chop it right in half and make this sucker longer so it's a whole razor rebuild refresh revival plus we're going to stretch it out make it better a lot of work so but so yeah so i guess i'll shut up because talking way too long let's get at it hang on and we're gonna get a lot of haters after i put these on because i'm gonna instantly be like the coolest person in scott county right now old school for sure I know I told my dad I needed some because he was concerned I was plasma cutting with sunglasses. That was good enough for who it's for. 
but he didn't think so. I plasma cut with those Bluetooth glasses. They're not even going to even know that I they're know. there. But anyway, I'm going to give these a whirl since Dad brought them to me. Oh. And we got the Kaufman set up there. It's a nice piece of uh, bracketry there. So that's what we're using. And then I believe um, the diff came from Carter Off Road. He always seems to have some good deals on some good diffs. So we got that. And we're going to put it in there. So also you could be doing this if you don't have a plasma cutter. They're freaking nice. Even yeah, I think that's like one you bought at the farm store. It's just it's real good for lightweight stuff. Um, you can use a uh, sawzall, saw saw, reciprocating saw, whatever they, people call it. Um, you could use a cutoff wheel on a grinder, and uh, you don't need to have the plasma cutter to do this if you're doing it yourself. But it is handy. And whenever you weld or plasma cut on your stuff, disconnect the battery cables. I don't know if we've ever said that before. I think we have. How professional did I look? You're professional. And we took the steering rack loose just so, you know, all that heat isn't getting on that, which doesn't matter on this one because that rack's junk anyway. Uh, it's, uh, it's wore out. Well, this is kind of hard, and then I think we're just gonna start in here, and we gotta cut this okay, out. Do you want me to cut that? I will fit it in there. Some people say you gotta make that hole bigger so I'm not. for a drain plug, but we will get it fit in there and take a peek at it. So we're not cutting out more than we need to. So yeah, this uh, step right there is is next. So probably about to the point where we can just start pulling and prying on it. I'm gonna let that cool down before I get up there. Alright, we're gonna let this cool down a minute and we're gonna get in there with 
fires and start seeing where all we gotta heat up some more or whatever to get that pulled out of there because we are only like a couple like this piece of metal's come down and welded it into that piece of metal and it's welded into that so we're dealing with two pieces that are boxed in right up there so let that cool down and we'll come back and try to knock that out Somewhere in the right direction. Just got this one in here. a lot. <laughs> I don't have much to do. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh. So yeah, yeah. Compare, compare how steady my hand is <laughs> to how. I don't think how, we can see. How steady yours? Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's Amber's, and that shark tooth stuff right there is mine. So. I got a steady hand, Steve. I believe that's it. I'll grab the grinder and just clean these up. Or should we just try to fit the diff in there? Sure. I think that's all we got to cut out. Are you mean just hold it in there and see what's up? Yeah, we'll just drop it in there and see if we got room for it, I guess. I'm putting my gloves on. I'm not burning my fingers. Mm -hmm. Wait, I got holes in my gloves. So you're still gonna burn I'm your fingers? My fingers. <laughs> I'm burning them. I'm dropping in this way. One way to find out.
And you'd be like, yeah. Huh? It's just like me. Sadly, son. It's a big mofo. Steven's like, oh my god, I know with Amber's grip strength, this diff's going straight on the floor. kind of got room for it. What well, appears we may have cut out enough stuff anyway. Yeah, I'd be happy if that's all we had to do is clean it up. Um, what about the drain plug? Assuming that's somewhere in that stuff. Oh, I'm in the snow. Yeah, it's, it's, it needs some out. The way we had it marked? Probably. Could be a little less. Okay. Well, I think we've got plenty of room for the diff, don't we? That's the other thing. So. Yeah, only like half the drain plug shown. Okay, so we'll cut out some more of the drain plug. I'll wrestle that out and you can do that and I'll take apart the mount to see if we're close enough that that fits in there so so far this has been I'm gonna jinx it right here but Not so far bad if you're a good plasma cutter <laughs> yeah no you hear some people are just like oh my gosh this is a terrible terrible endeavor but well, I mean, it's a lot of work because it's a lot to take apart, but so far the cutting was the easiest part. <laughs> mm -hmm. And like you said, cheat, cheat mode with the plasma cutter definitely beats trying to yeah. cut off wheel, all that out of there. So, yeah, we'll uh, pop this out, cut some more room for the drain plug, take that loose into pieces, and if that loose into pieces fits in here fits in the diff shoot all i gotta do is grind up the edges and paint it throw some pssst, new powder coat powder coat on there and we're good so um <laughs> definitely easier putting it in a full body than it was putting it in the sprinkles i'd agree with that <laughs> So, all right, let me grab this out of here and we'll do all that and yeah, see where we're at. So what'd you do? Nothing bad. So, hey guys, y'all, we just made that drain hole access bigger. And we've got everything loose in place it's just finger tight but um it looks like it fits in there good all about up in there tell me tell me what you see in there i see this right here where the the steering rack goes around it underneath it that's really close i grind a corner of that off I'm going to grind off a little bit more clearance right there. Grind that a little bit better. Behind that, that's pretty much a one shot. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll yank this out. Grind our two spots we need to grind. We're going to powder coat it. Now that we know it all fits in there. And then I guess we'll come back and just show you it's simple how this goes together. I guess the only thing we didn't fit was that top plate. I don't 
top plate will have any clearance issues. <laughs> <laughs> well, as far as width, but that's it won't because we're loose. We can move it around. So that's uh, that's basically all she wrote right there. I mean, really. Not too and, bad other than just disassembling everything. Yeah, the worst part was absolutely taking the razor apart. Um, and then like I said, if, if you don't have a plasma cutter, you're not going to think it's as easy as what we're saying it is. Uh, just that definitely helped. So if your buddy's got a plasma cutter, just go over to his shop for the afternoon and, and uh, take care of this project. But... Um, yeah, we could probably end the video right here because there's nothing else to see. I mean... Oh, we could come back when it's all together. Come back when it's all together? I guess. It'll be a short video. But, a short how-to. But we need to order the new rack for that. So oh, yeah. So it'll it be might a be bit. handy. It might be handy to take this back out and leave it loose. So, so yeah. Um, my opinion, what, on a on a scale of one to ten how so on the one to ten are you counting the disassembly or this part well you didn't do the plastic so I but i part. thought about it i so think that... this part because this <laughs> i see it on the forums and stuff this cutting all this up is intimidating to a lot of people i'm gonna i'm gonna put it like a five yeah but our level of difficulty might be different than most, but it's not bad. Well, I mean, since Steven was doing most of the wrestling of that end, I would have given it a three because all I did was cut. <laughs> Maybe yeah, you, got, you literally got the easy part because I took all the plastics off. I know. So you helped with the suspension. I'll give it a one or a two <laughs> for what I did. So Amber's rating's a one or a two. Mine's <laughs> about a five. Cut. <laughs> but now this I is... took his suspension apart that was being vicious that's what i said you, you helped with the suspension so uh this is something if you feel like you want to try to attempt it try to attempt it it's it's not that difficult you're not gonna mess anything up um well i won't say that you can but um it's fairly simple don't be intimidated of it if you don't have time don't want to do the work yourself just call amber and steve and uh, if you're close and we can we can get this taken care of for you pretty pretty decent so uh yeah so we've got to order steering rack and all that so not really a how-to just hanging out with us at the shop but you saw how to so you know that was we showed you the, the stuff you need to do so we definitely thought it was going to be more complicated because we've talked about getting steven one and i was like oh might take us a while to put it in no i'm ready <laughs> dra dragging our feet on it so i'm ready now this was like i said the plastic was worst but yep so you saw what we got to do to get it up to here we just fit it in there we got to grind that and that just make sure you have room in there because your diff will twist and turn like steven said getting a buddy like i do i get my buddy to do all the plastic stuff that i'm not gonna do Look at that. I hate it. Mm -hmm, my buddy and me. <laughs> my buddy, my <laughs> husband, my co-worker. <laughs> he, uh -huh. he has to fill all the shoes. <laughs> so, yeah. Hit us up if you need that. Um, installed. Hit us up if you need any parts. Um, we got the website, www.crashcityoffroad.com. Um, Christmas is coming. If you don't see anything listed on there, we, we're so busy out here, it's hard to get everything on the website. I mean, we're Super ATV, NRP, Sandcraft, I don't even, ORB. I was wondering if I should infinite off road. my Christmas list onto the website, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just in case someone doesn't know what size I wear. Yep. So, you guys have any parts? Uh, advice information clutch kits clutch kits are flying out of here um, so. and we're getting lots of fun feedback somebody said they thought they felt like they had 20 more horsepowers that's Billy Billy said that well, I wasn't gonna Fred I wasn't gonna name names yeah so yeah hit us up let us know if we can help you out um, I think by now we're proven we're the number one place for gear reduction 
info and stuff, clutching for it. So uh, hit us up, help it out. If you don't need to buy anything right now, just hit you know thumbs up on the videos and share them. And we appreciate everything you guys do. Everything, everything, watch the video, bringing us your stuff to work on. Talking to us. Talking to us, buying parts, whatever. We love all of it. Thank you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.